At the end of the 18th century, men of engineering and science were obsessed with steam. And at the beginning of the 19th century, engineers were trying to apply it to locomotion. Let me tell you the story of Henry Bell and his comet. Henry Bell was born of engineering stock. In fact, his father, his grandfather, his great-grandfather, for five generations back, had left their mark across Britain with their bridges, canals and harbours. Now, at this time in the early 19th century, travel across the globe relied on ships and sail, which means they relied on wind. Henry Bell could understand the idea of actually turning steam power into locomotive power to power a boat. In 1800, Bell approached the Admiralty with his idea, but they refused. They thought it was ridiculous. So he generated a little bit of support. And in 1803, Lord Nelson himself backed Henry Bell's campaign. My lords, if you do not adopt Mr. Bell's scheme, other nations will, and in the end, vex every vein of the empire. But even with Lord Nelson's endorsement, the Admiralty still didn't go for it. In 1811, Henry Bell decided to build his own steamship. So he engaged John Wood of Port Glasgow and they built the Comet. The Comet weighed in at 30 tonnes and it was 40 feet in length with a three horsepower engine powering four paddle wheels. Its maiden voyage on the 18th of January saw the comet travel 24 miles from Glasgow to Greenock, travelling at a breathtaking five miles an hour against a headwind. Bell's invention far outlived him. In fact, it became the power behind some of the greatest ships to navigate the globe. And many of them were built right here on the Clyde.